So tonight, the Volusia County Property Appraiser's Office says the county saw $325 million in damage to more than 6,600 properties, all due to the hurricane. All of this coming as people clean up the mess left behind inside their homes. New 6's Catherine Silver is in New Smyrna Beach tonight, where a new debris drop-off site just opened. This is all the insides of my house. It got flooded. John Graham's home in New Smyrna Beach emptying out as he empties bags of drywall and insulation at this drop-off site now open on Industrial Park Avenue. Uh, I just figured I'd get it out of the front yard. The water and wind damage from Hurricane Ian have left behind what the city calls a historic amount of debris. The C&D pile that you see over here uh, is brand new. The city hopes to speed up the collection with this self-service option. Residents are asked to sort yard waste and construction materials and unload it themselves. We do ask that residents try to refrain from bringing electronic waste, uh, white goods, tires, household hazardous waste. So we do have a second separate event for household hazardous waste on the 22nd. Uh, that's on Saturday. Down the street, contracted crews continue the cleanup curbside. Countywide, they've collected more than 73,000 cubic yards. Yeah, the bet, some of the bedding got wet, so we got to get rid of it. Russell Walker is clearing out his home that flooded on Jungle Road. He let our cameras inside. It was 13 inches, if you can imagine. He lost cabinets and carpeting, photographs of his family that can't be replaced. There was a lot of pictures. There's a lot, lot of memory there, you know, it's just gone. What he can rebuild, he will. He says the process is slow, but the progress is worth it. If you drive through here, it's getting better. Every day is getting better. Contracted crews will keep making the rounds seven days a week to clear the debris from the curbs. This self-service site will also be open from nine to five, seven days a week for as long as needed. Make sure you bring proof of residency if you're dropping off some of your own stuff or helping out a friend or family member. In Volusia County, I'm Katherine Silver, getting results, News 6.